Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite CAT prep channel Quantifiers. In today's DILR set, we are going to do one of the most calculative in calculation intensive set that you will find in DI. Trust me, I have never come across such a difficult calculation set. I have seen a lot of calculation set, but not this complicated one. So, uh, this is the overview of the courses that we provide for CAT. If you are interested in any of it, please do uh, join us with the link given in the description. Let's see what the set is all about. Maya Weight Clinic had height, weight and BMI record of all its patients. It calculates its BMI as the approximate ratio of the weight and the square of the height in meter. A partially filled spreadsheet along with seven randomly selected female patients is shown below. So, okay. How is the BMI calculated? BMI is calculated weight upon height square. So, BMI is nothing but weight upon height square. Basic phenomena. And now heights and weights are also in integer values and know to have same height of this. So let's just quickly write what is given to us. Average weight of sample selected is 60 kgs for these seven people. Average weight is 60, so total weight is 420 kg. Fine. There is at least one patient from each category, and there are more normal patients than other three categories combined. So other three categories, A, B, C, they have at least one patient and normal has more so normal has to be four so non there are four normal pressure patients one obese one overweight one underweight all these categories okay so fine now uh, what is further given to us the overweight person was asked to reduce exactly five kgs to be as no, uh, counted as normal so overweight minus five is equal to normal okay nidhi was taller than puja but shorter than Manisha. Okay. Rubina was heavier than Manisha, but lighter than Pija. Rubina was height, uh, heavier than Manisha, but lighter than Pija. Wait. Okay. The median height was 1.57 for Preeti. So 157 centimeter is the height for Preeti. And that is the median height. So Preeti. There are three people above and three people below. While the mean height was between 1.58 and 1.59. So mean height was between 158 and 159. Okay, fine. Asthma was 56% heavier than Rubina. So asthma was 1.56x. So Rubina was x. Okay. So what else I can find? Let me start filling the values. So Manisha's BMI would be 48152 square. So now see, you have the provision to use calculator. I'll recommend you to use calculator. If you have to use approximation, you should be very good with the Vedic maths. For example, how to calculate 152 square, 100 plus 52 square, 52 square is 2704, 27, 152 and 152, 204 and uh, so on, 27. Uh, 242304. So this is how you are going to obtain the square and even then the task is not complete because the height is uh, sorry the BMI is actually 48 upon 2.31 which sums up to around 20.8 or 20.7. So not here. Approximately. So again or 20.7 seven on the lower range. Okay. Now for asthma, I cannot calculate Nidhi, I cannot calculate Rubina, I cannot calculate Kinjal, I cannot, Pooja will be 54 upon 148 square, which is again 100 plus 48, 2304, 148, 1.296 and 21, uh, 196 and 21, uh, 23, 21904, so 54 upon 2.1904, which sum, sums up to somewhere around 24.5, 24 24.6. 24 okay. So, what else we can find? We can also find the similar, we can also find the data for Preeti because we know the height now. So, weight upon 157 square is equal to 23.12. So, from here, your weight is nothing. Out to be somewhere around 23, 
seven. Right. Now I don't know anything else. I have no clue about anything else. What else I can use? I can use the equations between this x. Let's say this is y. Do I need to do anything else? Nothing. So this is 23.12. So this is normal. So 24.6 is also normal. So these are the four normal people. This is obviously the underweight one. This is obviously the obese one. So this is the overweight one. If this is overweight one, so this person needs to be come to 56 in order to count count it as normal. So okay, fine. What do I know about this total? Eight and 15, 16, 20, 5 to 7, 11, 17, 22, plus 2.56x plus y is actually 420. So 2.56x plus y is 200. So what do I need to put x so as to get y as integer? So if I put x, x ki mujhe koi range diyo hai. X is Rubina. What information do I want a Rubina? Rubina is by weight lies between Manisha and Pooja. So Manisha is 48, Pooja is 54. So it is between 48 to 54, some integers. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. See, any value except 50, if you even think bluntly cannot give you integer because you need 200 minus something so minus something also has to be an integer okay so only multiplying by 50 will give me an integer so x is 50 so if x is 50 this is 50 and 1.5 156 by 2 78 okay and then y will be 200 minus 128 that is 72 fine now this is also sorted. I can also calculate Kindle's weight and Kindle's and some which I can do. For asthma, I can calculate its highest as 70. 78 upon S square is equal to 30.47. So height will come to be around 160. Similarly for Rubina, 50 upon H square is 18.14. X square is 50 upon 18.14 under root 7 point something, 34 point something, 165, 166, somewhere around this. Either 166, exactly. And now we are left with, okay, for Kinjal, it will be 72 square divided by 178 for Kinjal. Yes, so 72 divided by 178 square. So it will be somewhere around 22.72. Right. For Nidhi. Nidhi, what? Okay. I, I, I don't know height of Nidhi, but I know a fact that overweight person needs to lose 5 kg to be just, just normal. Which means if Nidhi loses 5 kg, she will be 56. In that case, 56 divided by S square will be less than 25. Or 56 divided by S square will be equal to 24.99. Or from here, I'll have to take Nidhi's height as 149 point something or I can say 150. So it will be 150. So okay, it has to be an integral integer, so 150. And now her current BMI can, can be calculated as 61 upon 150 squared or 2.25. That will be 27.1. Okay. This completes my chart. And now I'll look at the questions. What was Asma's height? 160. Kinjal was heavier and taller than how many people? She's taller than everyone. So I just need to map it against the weight part. 72. Only one person is heavier. 78. So rest five people. How much does the highest BMI in the normal category exceed the lowest BMI? So it is 20.7 and 24.6. So difference is 3.9. And the last one, what maximum integral weight would be uh, would let Rubina be normal? So Rubina currently is 50. How much higher that she can go that she's still normal? So if I take the weight as X new weight. And 166. If I make it 22, so in that case she will turn into an overweight person. 
So in that case, x is 25 into 166 into 166. So 1.66, 1.66, 166, uh, 100, 100, 100 by 4, it will come out to be 68.7 count. So she can, so 68.7 say come right now. So she has to be less than 68.7 in order to remain normal. So she can gain, uh, so 68 or something else. 166, 58, 58. Now she needs to be somewhere around, somewhere around 68, 68.8. Yes, 68.8 say less right So the weight she can actually gain is 68 minus 50. That is 18 kgs. So she can actually gain 18 kgs and still be normal. So with this, I'll complete the set. To be very honest, except this integral part where we had to somewhere hit and try, there was nothing much to be solved in the terms of, you know, complexity, complex data or anything. It was straightforward calculation. In the normal CAT scenario, you could have done this set in the second row, not an undoable set because all you have to do is use calculator efficiently. So with this, I'll just finish my session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much guys. Have a great day.